ask Wendy, how you doing? How you doing? Oh. Hi, Wendy, I'm Linda. Mother, daughter? Yes. yes. Hi. Hi, I'm Valerie. How are Valerie? You? Valerie? Yes. Okay, Linda? <laughs> um, my daughter Valerie has been dating this man for Three, three years. He's 38 years old. Okay. And well, how he, old are you, honey? I'm 22. I'm going to be 23. <laughs> he has a, he has a 13 year old daughter, and the daughter's mother seems to be a little threat to their relationship. So it puts a lot of stress on their relationship. So my question is to you, Wendy. Should I encourage her to date other young men? Or should I just mind my own business and not say anything? Okay, first I would like to talk like Valerie is not here. Okay. And then I would like to talk to Valerie like you're not here, okay? Okay, yeah. I don't like that she's only 22 mm. and with a 38-year-old man. Exactly. Kid or no kid, that's not hot. Right. The second thing is the idea that a beautiful 22-year-old girl, does she have children? would throw her life away on a man, I don't care whether he's 28 or 38. If you don't have kids and you're in your 20s as a woman with your whole life ahead of you, date a kidless man. So she needs to exactly. find somebody with no kids and find somebody who's in her age uh, decade. Right, she's a hard worker. <laughs> yes. She's going to school. But, and you can try your best to encourage her, but be very careful. It's a slippery slope because you don't want to alienate her exactly. uh, from your life. Right. Now, I'm going to talk to her like you're not here. <laughs> You've been with him for three years? Yes. And you're only 22? Yes. Are you in love? Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, you know. Okay. Okay, okay, then, then you've already answered this. Yeah. You're not in love. Yeah. You have to think about it too much. Yeah. You don't need to be dating a guy with kids. I don't care if he's 25 yes. and has a one-year-old. Yeah. Like, you're, you, you're better than that at this particular point in your life. The world is your canvas, honey bunch. Yeah. Date and date often. And before you start dating, mm -hmm. don't be a coward. You must formally break up with your... Um, boyfriend yeah. and do it face to face not through text mm -hmm. and don't let him sweet talk you because okay. he's twice your age so he'll be able to yes. okay you're right very you're well right. Thank you, Andy. You're very welcome um is that okay oh you're welcome oh hi hi wendy i'm erin how you doing how you doing erin so i have an emotionally needy friend we've been friends since college for a long time and she's always complained to me about not having a job or not paying the bills and i work in a preschool i have great stories about all of my kids and every time you know i try to tell her like something good that happened she goes oh that's nice so i just want to know a polite way to let her know that she's being a debbie downer on our friendship um, um you know i believe in breaking up with friends, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, there's a whole chapter in my book of the friend drama. Mm. This is a person that, try as you might, she, from what you say, she's got so many different things to get through in life, like get a job, I guess um, pick, pick her mouth up off the ground and learn how to be encouraging to you. Mm. I would uh, put her in a category of, we're almost not friends anymore. And slowly but surely, don't talk to her as much before you know it, the friendship is over. If you would like to formally break up with her, then, then you can do it in person and just let her know you feel like you guys have grown apart. Mm. There, if, you have to, if you have to lecture a friend and talk to a friend about being supportive and encouraging, mm -hmm. then she, she's not your friend anymore. Yeah. She doesn't mean to be, it's just that she's not. Okay? Mm -hmm. I wish you well. Thank you. You're very welcome. <laughs>